Hi guys, welcome back for another one. We're continuing here with Project Hospital. And before we get into the day three, let's go over some objectives real quick or, or you know, going over some things. So objective today is to try to treat all 20 patients. Treating all 20 patients, well, not, not, not the patients themselves, but 15 patients in general, um, I'll unlock here for the uninsured, which is then I'm going to increase my patient count from the uninsured to 15. I really want a hundred percent rating because I want to get all 25 on day two. And I want to bring in a fourth clinic doctor, very important objective. I'll cover more when we get there, but before we get in with the day, I do want to do a quick recap of our doctors. So if we go into our department here, I believe staff, we can take a look at them. So let's look at Mary King. Uh, actually all three of them are up here cause I was looking at this period before I went to record. <sighs> so let's start with Jason or uh, Joseph Taylor. So both Mary King and Joseph Taylor were, uh, they're both interns. They're listed as interns. If you see them here, they're interns. Uh, they didn't have hardly any stats at all. And you can see through two days, uh, they are gaining some percentage. And like I said, this is why I feel it's always important to start off controlling your doctors is that you can help them, uh, be successful at their job. Cause you know, you know, more than they do apparently, and even though they have the degree, <laughs> jokes aside, you can see that it does help them level up and you don't want to get them to level up to get them off intern. Um, cause there's a specialization you really want them to get Mary King. Uh, same thing. She's not actually not leveling up as fast as, uh, Joseph is, but I think Joseph has a trait that he levels up faster. So yeah, he'll, he'll Mary King will be miles behind, uh, Joseph Taylor as we level up. Uh, Mary just moves a whole lot faster. Look at Thomas White. I know he started with some statistics, uh, all low grades, but he's a resident. I hear level two. So he's still far away from being maxed out. Now this kind of stuff, you can, um, change some of this stuff. These two, I can't change, but the, the specialization here, uh, you could definitely change a doctor, um, in a specialization if you ever want to, uh, I, I don't want to just throwing it out there and in, in the future, you may see me toggle with that. So I'm just mentioning it now. Might not be in this episode, probably shouldn't be in this episode, but just in case, uh, you guys are aware. Anyways, with that said, we need to have a successful day. We're controlling everything. Uh, I think I can control 20 patients in fast speed. If not, I'll slow it down. Um, uh, overnight, obviously right now we don't have anything overnight. We will be getting into overnight stuff in the near future. Just not right now. Let's get on with the day. Uh, doctor should report to work between seven and eight. I don't have anyone with the the late trait, so everyone should be here on time. And matter of fact, they all are. So if we made a profit last episode with only 12 patients with this same staff, we should be very profitable with 20 patients with the exact same staff. Uh, I am very confident that three doctors can handle 20. We shouldn't get anything too complicated that prevent that from happening. All right, so we're gonna have, have, have Rachel Rodriguez. You either have chicken pox or American, definitely a disease I've never heard of before. In fact, so uh, uh, Rachel, you definitely have chicken pox. Just throwing that out there. Uh, in case you guys are new here, didn't catch episode one, should. Um, it's obvious any department you don't have unlocked yet or you haven't started operating, they don't have that symptom. The game doesn't throw, someone, throw stuff at you for things you don't have unlocked yet. Uh, just the way the game is. So she's definitely has chicken pox. Chicken pox get cured by antivirals. Uh, I covered this before. You can give them as many stuff as you want to give them to, to treat all these symptoms. You don't have to. Um, the only time I really find it beneficial to have to treat the symptoms when you get the hospitalization. That's when it comes important. I didn't cover that in the last episode, uh, but treating symptoms sometimes is very important when you get the hospitalization. Clinic, nope. Just give them, set them on their way and be done with it. Let's click, we're going to go ahead and click. Okay. I'm going to send you home. Go here. You have viral tonsillitis. You just need some rest So go home and sleep and, you know, be miserable. Daniel Jones, you, you definitely don't have anything broken because we don't have that department unlocked yet. So you definitely have an arm contusion. There's your arm contusion. There's your arm annoyance. So you don't feel any pain. And don't be stupid next time and do that. Whatever you did. Hammer. Doesn't matter. Just don't hit yourself. All right. Richard. Richard, what you got going on here, buddy? You got a lot. Okay. So this is our very first, very complicated person. Tons of stuff it could be. Um, you can tell as soon as you see the 2%, it's going to be a lot. Um, so let's hope who doctors in Mary King. Oh, it's probably the worst doctor for him to be seeing. Um, 
All right, I don't think Mary King, Mary King is going to be the best person for this job. Um, so we're going to go ahead and switch it to Thomas White, um, a little better doctor than the other two. And we're going to go ahead and set her up with a physical examination with Thomas White. Go to another one at a ton. All right, Thomas White doesn't get much better than him. Let's do a physical examination and see what happens. We'll just stick right here, see if we can see it live. No, we won't because we're back on Robert. Robert, broken, broken, broken. You have a leg contusion, my friend, because nothing can be broke because we haven't discovered how to break bones yet in this world. So you can't have a broken bone. Numbing ointment it is. Get the numbing ointment and get the heck out of here. Thanks for the 320 bucks. Margaret, what is going on with you? Lots of broken stuff. There's a leg contusion. Uh, all right. It's more than one. It can be, uh, Thomas white. Oh, you're the one that had other things. All right. So you got your physical examination. Oh, you're the one that was already there. Never mind. And we can only do a chest. Uh, we're going to be, sh we're going to be gambling. Let's do the chest thing. I don't think it's going to help us out any, but we'll let it, we'll see how it plays out. All right, it's either broken ribs, which is not a department we have unlocked, or chest contusion. So survey says it's a chest contusion. More numbing of These people are just hurting themselves left and right. Starting to think they uh, took their role playing a little too hard. All right. Pharmacy you still printing me money. I see a lot of ten dollars. It's not a lot of dough. It's not a lot of dough over there. All right, Elizabeth, hang, man, what is with you people? Stop hurting yourself. All right, we're only up to six treated. All right, we're on to Richard. Okay, so yeah, so right there. All right, so Richard was the one that had a bunch of 2%. Immediately sent him uh, Thomas White. Now, we did do a physical examination, so it's hard to compare apples and oranges here. Uh, but we limited it down into three things where they have a broken bone. We got a lot of broken bone. Now the radiology uh, clinic, why I don't feel it's very necessary at this point, because the radiology clinic will help determine things like broken bones, if it's broken or a contusion. But the fact that I don't have an orthopedic unlocked yet, I'm not going to get any of the broken stuff. So opening up a radiology clinic early, just because one of the objectives says so, I, I have never, never, ever in this game found it very useful. So I don't do it. Just don't do it. Um, so we're going to go ahead here and say you have an arm contusion because you definitely do. And we're going to put some numbing ointment on that and you can send you on your way. Karen, Karen, you, okay. Someone who's not hurting themselves. Congratulations. Here's some saline spray, uh, <laughs> saline nasal spray. I know you can use some rest, but your employer needs just to get back to work. <laughs> uh huh. Straight up corporate. Uh, anyway, this is an American hospital simulator. American hospitals don't care. <laughs> the people who work there probably do, but the people who run it don't. All right. So there's not much we can do between these two. Um, we'll see. There's no point in me switching doctors because no one has the differential diagnosis test and there's no way with what we have unlocked. You're able to, I think with this one here, the mycolic uh, sampling, you might be able to tell the difference, but we'll do a physical examination. If it doesn't eliminate one or the other, we'll just pick they both get treated the same way. I covered this in the last episode, antifungal ointment. So, you know, is what it is. All right, eight. We're still seven away from getting one of our insurance objectives complete. Beef tapeworm sounds miserable. Uh, all the other things that I'm sympathetic about, that one's definitely the most. It just sounds, it just sounds bad. All right, so it didn't really get any better. Let's do nail fungus, antifungal. We'll even throw in the foot cream because we might get it wrong. But either way, they're going home happy. Why did I not get the, oh, cause you're doing the other thing first. Um, you don't have a fracture. You definitely have a contusion. Let's put some numbing ointment on that and let's get home. Sorry. It hurts when you walk on it. All right, Peter, what you got going on here? All right, we're done. Get you out of here. Enjoy your day. All right. 11 treated nine to go for the day Four to we clear one of our objectives. Uh, Patricia, Patricia has a bronchitis. Let's throw her some antibodies and uh, have a nice day. Oh, 400 bucks. I need more people to come here with bronchitis. Iron deficiency. 
All right, let's get you an iron supplement and get you on your way. I'm assuming the other one, I think we have one uh, in the last episode that we just guessed on. And we must have got it correct because I didn't see a return uh, guest or anything. So we must have nailed it. Uh, let's see. A knee sprain? Nope. Broken stuff? No. Sprain? Nope. You have a foot contusion. Wow, what is what? Like, we're getting a lot of contusions today. I don't know what is with that. All right, one more. We got to cure one more person and we are got our objective done. You have a lot going on. Let's do a physical examination. Linda. Oh, another one of these. All right, still physical examination. If anyone can figure this out, it's Thomas White. Let's go. I know I relied on jo uh, Joseph Taylor a lot last episode, but in all reality, like he should be the best doctor for the job. And once again, we, we really need this differential diagnosis. Uh, but once again, I'll pick the highest percent and hope my doctor knows what he's talking about. Let's give him both. Either way, it's, it gets treated. It's just a matter if we diagnosed it correctly or not. All right, Casey Taylor, what do we got here? You don't have broken ribs, so you have a chest contusion just along with everybody else. I really don't feel sympathetic for you guys. I feel like you guys just all out in the park, beat the heck out of each other with wooden sticks, like no mercy style. And, and that's what you guys get. Go home. There we go. 15 patients. All right. So our next actually our next goal is 20 patients, which we should. I'm going to get a second here to pause. Send you home. All right. Pause real quick. So our next goal is 20 patients, which we're going to hit by the end of today because we got four to go. And we get a 50,000. Oof. Yeah, we're going to have tons of money to expand, um, but I'm trying to do things in steps. I don't want to go too crazy in this playthrough. Um, I know everybody has their own speed, but I'm trying to do things in steps and goals to show you guys how how I like the progress in this game. And maybe if you, you know you struggle to play, you know, if you haven't tried playing this way or you struggle playing this game, maybe hopefully my tips will help you. Um, I know going bankrupt in this game is pretty easy once you expand into hospitalization. William Jackson, man, how's it going? You need some iron pills, buddy. There you go. There's some iron supplements. Enjoy. Margaret, what's up? Oh, you need iron pills too. Iron pills and contusions today. All right, go. Make sure you pick those up from the pharmacy. There you go, William. There you go. Twenty, only twenty bucks for those. Nah, they need to charge more for those iron pills. All right, John, man, what's? Oh, John, 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 John. You might have COVID nineteen. I know you don't. That's affectionate diseases, but. Get physical examination and we'll get you eliminated down to what you actually really have. John, we got you down to internal medicine. Nope. Uh, emergency, internal, eternal, and eternal. So you have to have sinitis. Sin, sinus, sinitis. I'm struggling with that word. Here's some slain spray. I know you could rest, but huh, no rest for the wicked, man. Get out of here. Christopher, you have hay fever. First hay fever I've seen. There's some antihistamines and get out of here. Oh, don't forget to stop at the pharmacy. And there's our 20 patients, our 50,000 grant. Uh, we now have to increase to 30 patients a day. Don't worry, I have a plan for that one. As tomorrow, we, now we are only gonna be able to get 25 patients. We're gonna be able to get 30 tomorrow. I know that, I know that's for a fact. We're gonna be able to get 30 tomorrow. I have a, I have a plan. I'm gonna be a little bit smarter with my plan today. All right, so let me play a little fast forward here and we'll come back to see the financials for the end of the day. All right, everyone's leaving for the day. Let's go ahead and pause real quick and check out my financials. Uh, so today we made tons of money in the clinic, tons and tons and tons of money in the clinic, uh, profit of uh, 3,600. Our pharmacy, however, uh, we have this overpaid uh, pharmacist, very overpaid pharmacist, but hey, you know, they, they're doing a solo job. Um, only brought a profit of 260. It's not a whole lot, but like I said, we're kind of looking at the pharmacy as a passive income that it pretty much pays for itself. And as we grow the number of patients in our hospital that we're able to treat, the more the pharmacy is going to make. So it will pay for itself in the long. I mean, it's already paying for itself, but it'll pay for itself and more in the long run. So what's next? Obviously we're not going to repeat the day. We're not going to get any new objectives done by repeating the day tomorrow, um, with 25 patients. So next step, let's take a look at the insurance where I'm going to go next. Uh, I still don't think I need to unlock the clinic. I mean, eventually it's just going to happen. We're going to unlock a specialized department, not doing that one next. 
Uh, the goal is to get this one completed next to get 20 patients a day. Uh, even though the uninsured doesn't bring in a lot of money, but the, the volume does when you start talking about the pharmacy being involved. All right. So the choice we want to unlock is this one down here. Oopsie Corpse, create one doctor with a character editor and hiring card. So we're going to unlock this one. It pays us 115% and we're simply going to be able to uh, do this one with 25 patients coming in. And obviously you guys have seen the profit my clinic brings in. We can expand to a fourth doctor and that doctor is going to be hired, you know, through that editor screen to unlock that short insurance. And I believe that the, that option and that insurance uh, comes available in doctor mode, which I believe is a free DLC. Um, so let's go ahead. Let's rotate the camera around. I do not like the controls for, the, for doing this. Uh, and unfortunately, you can't change the key bindings in this game. Uh, you know, so it's a sad day for everybody. Um, but yeah, we're going to go. Uh, so we're going to do some editing off camera and I'm going to be and there's nothing really to know. We're going to build another doctor's office. You guys have seen me build one in episode one. Don't need to see me do it again. Um, uh, but I will come back before I hire that doctor. So I'll see you on the next day. All right, so before the next day, and you guys can see there's been some changes. I removed the bathroom, moved it up here by the waiting room. And you see we have an empty room and I have another empty room up here. I almost want to cover a few things that I haven't covered yet in this playthrough. So first off, uh, one of the things that I haven't covered is a nice little copy and paste feature. Okay, these rooms, I they need to, just like how these two are identical, I want these two to be identical. So what you can do is you can come here to the prefabs and do this copy create prefab and then you know move it over a room like that and then you just copy it into the empty space and boom there's your doctor's office Qu quick copy and paste really nice feature really glad they have it there are some other pre-made rooms i'm trying not to use any of those in this playthrough where i just build my own um but yeah quick feature uh only thing i wish i or never never mind i say i wish these were blue too but i can see that um, that these are back to being red also after last episode. I believe they were blue after last episode. So on a reload, they changed. Uh, anyways, then we have a janitor's or never mind. <laughs> I just ruined what it's going to be. So what we're going to do is we definitely need to add a janitor's closet. It's we've been through three days. We haven't had anyone clean the hospital. We really should have someone clean the hospital. So now we're going to go ahead and create a cleaning closet. We should really have one. Things will begin to get messy. Go ahead and do that. Uh, select the room. We only need a shelf and a bucket. Well, actually, the bucket cart's not even necessary, um, but it's a really nice thing to have. So we're definitely going to put it in. Um, so we put that shelf there. Put the bucket cart right there. And I definitely want to add in a lab sink. Most janitor closets would have some kind of. Actually, mostly would have a slop sink, but um, that's fine. A little sink there, um, and. I really don't want to get too overcrowded here, but I think it's fine for right now. Um, there we go. Wall mounted cabinet. There we go. So I think wall mounted cabinet and there we go. Um, all good stuff. We need a second janitor at some point where we can take this out and make room here. And then I want to go ahead and add a window, uh, on the outside. Um, all right. What would be best if I was rotate rotate? If I was a patient or a passerby, if I get the right view here, where? So we wouldn't have any windows here. Would I have a, I, yeah, I guess we could have a regular window there. All right, so let's put that in. Uh, let's rotate you back like this. And boom. So if walls are back up, we look from the outside, a tree's in the way. Uh, but yeah, it does a little make more, a little bit more sense. Looks good from the outside. You know, you know, I'm trying to, I'm trying to worry about what looks so just a little bit for you guys. Um, let's lower, I'm lower walls down a little bit so I can get back to my angle. I really like this angle right now. I don't know if this one I'll be sticking with long term, but definitely want to like right now. One other thing we need to add one is, um, if I can find it. There we go. Paint tool. And we want to add the number four. And I'm going to have to rotate my camera view for this one. Let me make sure you're black. Oh, nope. Didn't mean to do that. I want to hit the. All right. Yeah, I think that's right. All right. Four. There we go. So it's like when, so like the way I'm trying to picture is like, okay, 
pops up on oh, i hate these rotations there we go so when the screen pops up you know and it tells somebody like oh you're up you know have a number of the room they're supposed to go to that's the way i picture it when i think about it so that's the way i want it to play no actually okay hold on stop 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 i just made a mistake all right so we need to hire a doctor so we'll go acute medicine select here all right we should be able to go find new candidates character editor um well let me make sure that this is the right thing uh oopsie care create one doctor with the character editor in the hiring card all right so hire character editor um is there a randomizer um select perks oh they have to have a negative perk do they really? All right, well, let's go. Let's see if we get it. Where's the names at? Uh, we can't have a Sarah. We can't have a Susan. We can't have a Joseph. We can't have a William. We can't have a Daniel. All right, I need, I need, I need a cool name. Uh, let's see. James Jones. I like James Jones. You're 24, male. You look good. Uh, you are an intern. Guess I can't change that. All right, so we want you to have, oh, I know what I want you to have. I want you to have a 20 cent bonus for dying skill after, I want the, oh, where's the diagnostic, diagnostic, extra talent for diagnosis. All right, well, I want you to have diagnosis genes. I think that's the one that gives me the, the differential diagnosis. I really want someone to have that. I don't want you to be a night owl, even though eventually we're going to need night owls. Um, uh, don't want you to be fast. Takes 20% less salary when leveling up. I like people who take less money. Um, pleasant. I don't really need to heal. I don't need good boss. I already have it. Um, uh, use free term to study. It's not that important right now. There we go. Can level skills much faster. Select those two. And apparently we need to select a bad one, which is not great. Not a big fan of this. Um, does not take free time breaks. I don't know what that means. It's in the bad column. I don't understand why that's bad. It sounds great. Uh, long commute. Can we often be late for work? Um, Actually, don't mind if he's late. Uh, dirty feet, not the end of the world. And let's do long commute. I don't mind if he's late. All right, it's great for that. All right, oopsies is in unlocked. Oopsie Corp. Insurance management. So we are. Where's Oopsie Corp? Oh, add it. Uh, all right. Well, <laughs> extra experience for all player, uh, created characters. I'm not creating any more characters. I just want to lock it for the insurance and the payment. Um, we'll probably easily reach that. Um, but I think we just, unfortunately, let's say we're taking a debuff on the amount of patients we're getting today. I thought maybe last time it was because I did it before midnight. This time I did definitely did it after midnight and I'm still getting, uh, debuffed on the number of patients. So today's not going to be a very profitable day. Uh, so let's get through it together. Okay, guys, we're going to be extra mean to patients today. If they come in with a lot of contusions, that's their own fault. Make sure they're aware of it, that they should not be swinging heavy objects if they don't know how to hit them. Well, as long as they're not in another person. <laughs> All right, we are open. Uh, patients will start to come in. I did move these doors. I don't know if I explained this in the last episode or not. Uh, eventually, I do want to move these doors down to where they line up with this crosswalk here. That's my ultimate goal. Um, now you guys know, Margaret, what's going on, Margaret? You got tons of stuff going on. Uh, let's go ahead and do a physical examination and see if we can eliminate this down. Ooh, James Jones. How about our newy doctor? All right, we got broken, broken, and one contusion. You definitely have a contusion. Here's your numbing ointment. I don't know what's wrong with you, uh, but get out of my hospital. Oh, and get a prescription on the way out. Uh, golfer's elbow ice wrap. How much does that cost? 320 bucks. And I'm only giving you an ice wrap. <laughs> Grandpa, you were my favorite customer. 
<laughs> All right, Margaret, what's going on here? We did the physical examination. We got down to something that's for internal medicine. Can't be that. Another one for internal medicine. Another one for internal medicine. Another internal medicine. You definitely have sci uh, sinus, sinusitis, sinusitis. That's going to bother me. Um, all right, go ahead. Nasal spray. Oh, that, that's not a lot of money. Oh, but you're oopsie corpse. I'm actually getting some extra money. I like it. All right. Okay. Go home. Susan fungus or, uh, well, hopefully a physical examination will help us figure out which one that is. I do want to see actually the next time, uh, what's his face pops up. I do want to check him out to see if he has the diagnosis dif differential. Cause I'm definitely going to make good use of that if he does. All right, you got a lot of stuff going on. Let's just do a physical examination and try to eliminate some of that stuff down, and then I'll check you out. Susan Moore, um, um, if I switch you to James Jones, I do not have this. All right, well, then stick with Thomas. Are you with Thomas? I don't know who you're with, but that's what you're going to do, and you're going to get that. Okay. Uh, um, yeah, I think I accidentally got you kicked out. <laughs> All right. Bronchitis possibly, uh, internal medicine. Nope. And nope. All right. You got bronchitis, dude. Take some antibiotics. Uh, Ooh, 575 bucks. Cha Ching and pick a prescription out the door, please. That's how you make money. Uh, mumps. I don't think so. And I doubt you're this either. So you're definitely laryngitis. Here's some antibiotics. Sorry about your luck. Hopefully next time you, I don't know. Stay clear of people who have diseases. All right, Brooke, how's it going, Brooke? Brooke, you got, you know, if you don't have that, you're just lactose intolerant. You just need to change your diet. There you go. Ain't you glad you're spending 230 bucks to be for me to tell you to change your diet. Susan Moore, get home. Nancy Lewis, you got a tapeworm. Sorry about your luck. I said, that's the only one I really feel sorry for. Just, it just sounds very, very uncomfortable and just gives me the creepy crawlies. Um, let's go into a physical examination. Let's kind of get this down a little bit. It sounds like you have a contusion of some sort. Robert King, you got, I th holy smokes. Who is this? Thomas White. You actually could tell the difference between athlete's foot and the nail, whatever the nail fungus is. Huh. I hope that keeps up. Here's your antifungal cream. That's all you're getting. Cause I know for sure now it's athlete's foot. <laughs> you're going to hope I never figured that out. Cause you're going to feel very, Oh, look at the pharmacy go. Um, Oh, we did phase. We still have a lot left. All right. That's broken. Oh, you have two contusions. Are you kidding me? Mary, Mary, Mary had a little lamb. All right. Well, the answer is numbing ointment. The question, the answer is. All right, we'll show you some numbing ointment. We'll give you some other of these. We'll give you some recommendations, an ice wrap. Please tell me I got at least somewhere close. I just can't believe you don't know if the contusion's on your foot or your leg after a physical examination. Mary, I know you're new to this whole doctor thing, but come on. There was a big difference between someone's shin and their foot. All right, Nancy, I'll come back to you in a little bit. Uh, Susan, how's it going? Oh, you definitely have hay fever. There's no way you have this or this. You would definitely have hay fever. Answer antihistamines. Make sure you pick them up from the pharmacy on your way out the door. Cause you're only giving me 70 bucks. You definitely need to pay a little bit more than that. Michael chronic fatigue, dude. Sorry about your luck. Here's some recommendations. You know, sorry that you're getting older. Boy, I'm so mean to these people. Mary, 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 Mary. You're lactose intolerant. Well, stop drinking milk. I'm surprised it took you this long. How old are you? 20? You just figured this out in your 20s? Change your diet. I guess it happens to you. Nancy. How's it going, Nancy? All right, it's time for you to go home. You're going to the pharmacy. Good job. Get 10 bucks. These people got to spend more than 10 bucks at the pharmacy. You're an expensive pharmacist. All right. Ooh, rabies. <laughs> Well, I know you don't have rabies, but as much as I want, I really want that $1,955. That's a lot of money. Um, all right, let's do a physical examination. Let's try to eliminate this down a little bit. Heart failure. I hope you're not here. If you have heart failure, I have nothing to save your life. Linda, another one, all three. Oh, not very much. Another, okay. Physical examination on the table. Charles Lopez. Oh my goodness. What is with all you difficult people right now? For real. Come here with simplified problems. I'm a little old clinic. You know, go, go downtown to a more experienced hospital. These complicated problems. 
Oh, we did not eliminate anything. James Jones, what's your deal, man? All right. Not a thing. Not a thing. Chronic fatigue is one. Insomnia could be one. So chronic fatigue... All right, so this is the first one we really have to look at. So it's either chronic fatigue or insomnia. There should be an easy way for us to tell a difference. I'm surprised the field examination did not help. Um, it's probably going to be something stupid. Let's do some neurological testing. Um, if they were have insomnia, we should be able to find out that way. All right, let's go ahead. Uh, first time we had to really do some problem solving, I think, in this playthrough. Linda, what's up? You probably have a contusion, but let's just... Oh, we already used physical examination. Oh, it's a contusion of some sort. Ah, oh, another one. Um, Joseph Taylor needs some experience. So we're just going to push on your stomach for the hell of it. And we're going to take your temperature. We know you don't have a, a, any kind of thing that would say that you have a fever or anything. But, you know, we're just going to do it. Because, you know, we just need to, uh, you know, play doctor every once in a while. Charles, what's up, buddy? Uh, spinal, nope. Nope. You have scoliosis, man. You need to exercise more. Aren't you glad you came in for me to tell you that? As a matter of fact... You know what? Here's some NSAIDs and some, uh, hopefully you have to go to the pharmacy to pick those up. Cause I know for exercise, you wouldn't be going to the pharmacy. So there you go. I'm just curious if he goes to the pharmacy after this. Carol, 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 Carol. Influence the A, influence the okay, No, it's not A. It's either B or hay, fe he f hay fever. Ooh. Physical examination, take their temperature. Um, hay fever, they have an allergy. So let's give them an allergy skin test. Um, we'll come back to actually, we're actually getting some real problem solving right now. I've really, Really, really enjoying the complexity now because it was really easy the first couple days. Uh, we are getting nowhere. I see. I have a hard time. I have a hard time believing it's insomnia. If neurologic testing didn't, I suppose it didn't eliminate it. Uh, let's do an evaluation. James Jones, you better get me a good evaluation here. Linda, 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 Linda. What are we going on here? All right, you're the one with the contusion. We just don't know where the contusion is. We've exhausted our resources. You were trying to force me to get the x-ray machine. Uh, we're going to say you have a leg contusion, numbing ointment, and all the good stuff that comes with it. Uh, if it doesn't, if you put it on your leg, it doesn't work, Linda. Just try putting it on your foot. Maybe that will take care of it. Uh, Linda has insomnia. So you couldn't figure out James Jones. What is your deal, buddy? All right. You need some good drugs. There's some good drugs. Uh, go to the pharmacy. Are oh, you going home? You're not going to the pharmacy. Uh, Charles, you have scoliosis. Go home. Oh, you're the one I gave you a bunch of stuff. You better be going to the pharmacy. Yes. You're going to the pharmacy. All right. I have to make sure that if they get out of here and are not prescribed pills, that we prescribe them pills to pick up from the pharmacy. We really got to be on top of that. All right, Linda, leg contusion, you can go home. Carol Baker, hay fever it is. Antihistamines. Um, you know what? Take some eye drops. Let's hopefully spend some more money at the pharmacy. I don't know if that works that way or not, but if it does, I'm definitely going to start prescribing a lot more stuff. I've never done that a science experiment before. Um, fractured finger, can't be that. So you have a hand contusion. You probably need some numbing ointment. Yes, you do. Um... Here, take some pills with you. Go to the pharmacy and get them. Carol! Oh, you're ready to go home. How are we doing there? We're at 17 to 24. We still have seven more to go. Go home. Jane. You don't have malaria and you don't have rat bite fever. So you definitely have shingles, which kind of sucks. I'm not going to lie. Antivirals. There's some steroid cream. Please get out of here. I don't know why all of a sudden I started to get, uh, subscribing more stuff. I went from having no passion to having too much passion, apparently. Uh, you have a foot contusion. There's your numbing ointment. Um, there's some pills to pick up at the pharmacy. Go to the pharmacy. Yeah, they all just go to the pharmacy. Uh, I think maybe I got to pay more attention. I think maybe that does have some, because I think certain things, uh, like ping for the, for the, you know, the patient to go to the pharmacy. It's got to be more on top of antihistamines. Uh, would you get eye drops at the pharmacy? I don't know, but take them. The only thing is I can't like discharge people like as fast if I give them more than just what it takes to cure them. Athletes. Wow. 
You guys are getting this problem down pretty good right now. I'm actually pretty impressed. There's some antihistamines and some foot cream. Go to the pharmacy. Give me some extra dough. Uh, we have two patients left for the day. Jordan is one of them. Jordan needs a physical examination because he's a lot of stuff he can be. I don't think it's appendicitis. Just throwing it out there. Casey Clark, you don't have a fracture. You have a contusion. Here's a numbing ointment. There's that. You know what? That seems expensive. Get that. And here's some recommendations that you're an idiot. <laughs> I'm such a great doctor. Such a great doctor. Um, there is a thing about trying to get all these guys to have five stars. One thing I haven't really pointed out uh, in this playthrough yet. You're trying to get them all to get five stars. Definitely helps. You have a lot of things you can be. James Jones is up. Give us that, you have that evaluation. No, you don't. All right. Let's go through them. Internal medicine. All right. You can be lactose. So far, it's like the only thing it could be. Wow. All this stuff it could possibly be in. We already know it's lactose intolerant. There's a diet modification. Here's some pills that'll get the pharmacy. Please get out of here. And we got a five star from Jordan Garcia. He's going to the pharmacy and spending a little extra cash. 60 bucks. Oh, I thought we were done. Casey, get out of here. Oh, 460 bucks. I know we, I know with even less patience today, I know we made some major bucks because of Oopsie Corp. I know for sure. Oopsie Corp paid us quite a bit of money today. Reach control doctor rate at 8%. I wonder if we're going to get that. Uh, probably goes off at the end of the day. All right, 24, 24. Uh, once again, guys, we're going to fast forward until we can see our financials for the end of the day. All right, everyone's going home. Let's go check out our financials for the end of the day. Now that everyone's been paid. Uh, yeah, I mean, we're kind of like, I kind of made the same amount that we did yesterday on our clinics with an extra doctor on board. Um, they say extra payment. Our, our number of patients that we're getting should be going through the roof. I think we should be getting 35 the next day, which I don't even know if four doctors can handle, even if I'm playing manually. So it's going to be very, very, very chaotic. Um, I may have to do something about that. Either way, 4,500 profit. The pharmacy definitely made a lot more money. Uh, so I do think I need to prescribe just pills. Just keep prescribing pills. Even if they, if, if it's an option, give it to them. Just give it to them. Uh, as we did make a lot more money in the pharmacy um, than we have been making, 648 bucks. So uh, I do think that might be a thing. One thing I did forget to do, and I realized as I was uh, letting time roll off until I came back, is we never hired a janitor and things are getting dirty. You can see the dirt here um, going down this corridor. I'm going to zoom right in as far as I can, you know, so we need to definitely get that taken care of. Let's go to our apartment here. Um, I do like a clean slap that works overnight. Cause I, I think like you wouldn't have a, a janitor staff cleaning the hallways in the middle of the day. Uh, I've been to major hospitals. Uh, I've spent days in major hospitals. Um, and I know I don't see a janitor running up and down the halls with a big old broom and bucket in the, in the middle of the day when, you know, the hallways are just going back and forth between patients, visions or visitors and doctors and nurses. Uh, so we're going to do a higher one at night. Um, I'm, I'm not as big on like the, the buffs debuff thing when it comes to a janitor, there's an early bird, but I'm hiring a night person. So we're definitely not doing Jessica Hill. I think James Johnson will fit the, actually he's a little expensive for a janitor but he can be a manager then we are making enough money. I just hate the fact that his salary is so much, but he does have a manager skill. So he may, he may get that job role in the future. So let's go ahead and hire him. Uh, I wish you weren't an early bird. I mean, you actually, you know, we can probably hire uh, cause we can always flip her today if we needed to in the future. I mean, it's a big difference, but he could be a manager. But I'm so far away from actually needing a manager that it doesn't make a whole lot of. <sighs> no debuffs, no buffs, but it's just expensive. All right, we're gonna we're, we're gonna take Jessica Hill. Uh, this is not great that she's an early bird, but like I said, we can switch her in a future when it comes up. Uh, so we'll have her come in and do some cleaning. All right, guys. So I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and skip to the next day. I'll be right back. So we're back in the next morning. Unfortunately, I got bad news in the middle of the night uh, that there's an event going on where you guys can see right here. Uh, lots of people are on holiday. 20% less patients arrive per day, which has got me only 28 patients today. 
when I need 30 to do the next objective. Uh, so I'm not going to hit that. That's one thing. So I don't think we're, I'm going to do this, uh, this full day, uh, in camera mode, uh, the episode right now from what I think I have recorded, it's a little bit shorter than what I'd like it to be. So I don't know. Well, I'll think about it here for a few minutes. Um, next thing up is, uh, reach control doctor rate of 80%. I was like, didn't I hit that? Um, but I didn't, I, I think what that is, is that I need to have a doctor controlled over here. So I did select James Jones cause I should have had that on, I should have had that made. Um, cause if you go to the department here and we look at the doctors, uh, you can see they all have a doctor rating above 80. So yeah, that that's, that's, I just didn't have it selected. Like I said, it's been, it's been a long, long, long time since the last time I played uh, project hospital. So I believe that's what I needed to do to unlock that one. This happens to be that. So I don't know what I, what I want to do here. Um, cause I'm definitely not hitting my 30 patients today. Uh, socks not going to happen, but, um, I don't know if I want to keep pro postponing, uh, an expansion. Cause right now we can still get, uh, according here, right? We only have three or four unlocked. We can get another one unlocked. Um, uh, and we can truly have uh liver TY, unlocked hundred percent from everything and just opening a clinic or any specialized department, open a clinic, any specialized department. Um, and I think that's the one we need to have unlocked. Um, well, yeah, that's the one we need to have unlocked to get uh hospitalization. We right now we don't have hospitalization and I'm always not a, I'm not a big fan to rush like right into hospitalization because hospitalization just can suck money from you like crazy. Uh, there are certain, there is like, there is one department. So, like most of these have hospitalization, uh, radiology won't, but radiology doesn't really make you money. Um, it's just a way to help diagnose. Um, if I send someone over there for a contusion, they're not going to pay me anymore because they got an x-ray. They're still going to pay me. If it's 80 bucks, they're still going to pay me 80 bucks. And I wasted a lot of time to come to the conclusion that they have a contusion. This is the main reason why I'm not a big fan of jumping straight into radiology, even though the objectives feel like they lean you that way. Not a big fan of it. Uh, eventually I will. Uh, but usually I try to stay away from it until I get into what I call orthopedy where yes, I'm going to have a lot of broken bones like that. And this is where having an x-ray machine is hugely beneficial. Um, and then they also have their own, uh, hospitalization department. Um, the medical laboratory is another one that I'll eventually, as I have a, a ton, if I, if I have a huge surplus in cash, this is another one, just like the, the radiology clinics that I'll dive into the, or dive into. These ones don't give you more money. They just, you know, give you a way of helping you diagnose. And when you have more departments, you're definitely going to need these tools because you will get more variety of patients where they could have a variety of outcomes that are all possibilities. So laboratories, uh, next up is the ICU. I, I try to avoid having an ICU. Um, uh, I think eventually I think the game pushes you into having an ICU as they'll just give you more and more. Um, I think you actually, I think you need to get one of these when you start getting into ambulances. I'm not a big fan of it. Another one that, uh, my experience can drain some money from you. Um, general surgery. If you're not going, if you can prevent yourself from going bankrupt is probably the way to go. Maybe the way to go. Usually I don't go this way. I'll tell you the way, way I usually go. Um, but this one, if you can get set up and get surgeries going, you will make quite a bit of money and it's a good way to, to make your hospital very profitable. Now, the way that I usually go, um, off the bat is internal medicine, or maybe it's not internal medicine. No, it's not internal medicine. I think I've gone internal medicine in the past. Um, uh, something to go. All right. You see it has hospitalization. Hold on. There's one of these, it's not orthopedy, color LG, not that one. What? Oh yeah. It usually is internal medicine. Yeah. Because they don't have surgery, a surgery department. So they're overnight. just like keeping you, um, cause you need a little extra, like, uh, time to recover or survive in some cases. So I think internal medicine is usually the way that I go because they don't require, like, so you see that it has ones, ones they don't require a lot where you look at general surgery and it's like a lot is needed to make this go. Um, and this 140,000 that I have saved up will go in a hurry. Um, so I don't know if I'll go how I normally like to play, um, go internal medicine to, to prevent myself from having a huge overhead and the overnight stuff, or just go general surgery and fingers crossed. I don't go bankrupt. I might just do fingers crossed. I don't go bankrupt. Um, I usually avoid going this way. And I think for this playthrough, I think I will just go this way. Um, 
But you guys can let me know in the comments down below because I'm not going this way today. I'm going to come back next episode. We are, are going to open up a specialized department. Do you think, which one do you think it should be? Should it be general surgery, internal medicine, orthopedic? If you guys pick this one, you are sadistic and I don't like you. Uh, <laughs> cardiology or neurology, right? That, that's, the, that's the five we have to choose from. The rest of them, like they fall into place a little bit later uh, where we don't have a good enough base to do infectious diseases or traumatology right now. Um, and a mortgage, one of those, it's just a luxury. I, to me, it's like a luxury after you have everything else done. Um, because let me know down in those comments, which way you prefer me to go. Um, I'm just going to go through this day to make this video a little longer. So if you want to exit now, I just don't want to see me do, cause we're not going to advance it here in these 28 patients. We're just going to take care of them. And that's going to be the day, um, to wrap up the video. If you want to exit right here, I understand. I hope you have a good one. Like comment, subscribe. All that great stuff helps support the channel and also helps support to see more Project Hospital in the near future. Uh, I'm just going to go through this day. We're going to treat 28 patients, make some cash, and, you know, and then do a nice sign off. So let's get going here. We're going to kick it off with Susan Anderson. I wonder if I can, I wonder if there's a way for me to put more names into the game because I feel like I see the same like combination of names like over and over and over again. There's got to be a file where I can add names. You guys let me know. If anyone knows how to like do that to this game, let me know. I've, Love to, or there's just a mod to add in more names that don't change the gameplay at all. Just that's just a little extra. Anyway, Susan, what's going on now? Oh, now, now you can't tell the difference. Actually, I don't think it's Joseph that usually does this. All right. So physical examination. So we get, and that's the one that needs, um, that needs the medical laboratories, but really for the money you get paid for diagnosing that not worth it. And real hospitals, real American hospitals. If you're not from America, if you they send you to a lab, any kind of lab work, that gets put on the bill. This game does not put that stuff on the bill. Don't know why. Doesn't work that way in America. <laughs> All right, I don't know what you are, so you're just getting nail fungus with ointment and foot cream and get out of here. Oh, there we go. Objective done. I like that. Um All right, hold on a second here. Pause real quick. Darn it. Go to You don't have tuberculosis. You have iron deficiency. Take some iron supplements. Um, take some more pills and then, oh, and stomachs too. Yeah, there you go. You don't have malaria. You have shingles. Antivirals. There you go. And rest when you get home. All right, pause. I want to see that this objective is. All right. Correctly diagnose patients of control. In intern mode. What? Correctly diagnose patients of controlled doctors in intern mode. What? <laughs> um, okay. Okay. May, may it just resolve itself. Uh, we'll see what happens here. But all right, Susan, what's going on? You were on intern mode. What happens when I can do that to you? Uh, my number didn't go up. Ankle contusion. There's numbing ointment. There's some pills. There's some recommendations to get out of here. Jordan. There we go. Go home, buddy. Yeah, that number's not going up. Don't like it. Go home. You. You have a lot going on. Let's do a physical examination. Get it down a little bit more for me to waste my time looking. Contusion, go home. Christopher, you have dermatitis, buddy. There's some pills. Put some drops in your eye and get out of here before you give it to me. Frank, what's up? Frank, you got a lot of stuff that what's up. All right, do a physical examination and uh, tell me a little less of what's up. Chicken pox. Oh, dude, get out of here. Uh, here's a bunch of pills. Take some rest. No one wants to see you and uh, have a good day. Christopher, there we go. Get out of here, buddy. 70 bucks. Oh, 120 bucks at the pharmacy. I don't know what that was, but give me more of that, please. Um, you have a lot going on. I'm pretty sure you just have lactose intolerance. Let me see. Can't be that. Cannot be that. I see some general surgery stuff. That's nice to see. Yep. You got lactose intolerant Di diet modification. There's some anti diarrheas and some stomach aids and get out of here. All right, Frank, we did a physical examination. You still have a lot of things it could be. Uh, do I really want to take my time with this? I really just think you have an infection or laryngitis. So here we go. Let's do 
an oral inspection and a laryscopy, whatever. There you go. Let me know what the results are then. Mary Jackson. Oh, you have the thing I just che checked somebody else for. Are you the same person? Take some antibiotics. Take all, all the pills in the world. Take them all. Take them all. Go to the pharmacy. Karen, you can go home. Michael, go home. Go home. Still at zero of 10. See, I think there's something not right. All right, home. What's. Joseph, you haven't done anything yet. I feel like I'm doing something wrong. I might, I might have to look into this between episodes because I'm not going to spend a whole lot of time right now, but something's not right. I got to figure that out. All right, Michael. All right, I'll move this over here. That's going to make me mad. Michael, you got... Um, I think I should figure this out. You probably have a common cold. You definitely have the common cold. And now we treat with rest. No, take a bronchulator. Take that. I uh, probably should have revealed more symptoms so I can give you some pills, but it is what it is. Enjoy. David White, you have a foot contusion. Numbing ointment. Take some pills. There's a nice wrap. Get out of here. All right, Joseph. You have insomnia, buddy. Take some sleeping pills and sleep. Here's tranquilizers too, in case that didn't work. I feel like that might be too much for him. All right, cold. Let's go ahead. Continue home. Going to the pharmacy. Good job. Foot contusion. Are you going to the pharmacy? Yes, you are. Great job. I like people go to the pharmacy. Barbara. Um, oh, I think you can be two of these. You can be two of these. All right. Let's take your, let's take your chest, take your temperature and, uh, we'll save on the oral and uh, nasal inspection, depending on what the results are of that. Joseph go home, buddy and sleep. Linda, what's up? Athletes foot. I'm glad when you guys can tell the difference makes my day. Uh, take all this stuff too with you. Barbara. Ooh, we did not turn. All right. So nasal and oral. Uh, you definitely have a hand contusion. Take your numbing ointment. Take your bandages. Your whatever. <laughs> Linda Young. Go home. All right. Who's next? All right, still zero ten. I gotta figure this one out. I'm gonna have to look this one up in between episodes to really get it done. You definitely have any nummy ointment. Just get it all, all of it. Dana, go home. Barbara, Barbara, I probably should have started with the physical examination. Uh, we still have a lot of patients left to go today. Uh, ankle contusion, get some numbing ointment and go. Hey, fever. Okay. We should have started with the physical examination. I should have known better. Get it all. All the pills. Get them all. What if I do... can't add doctors go to oh great see if you can tell the difference no oh, that's gonna I really need to figure that out it's bothering me not knowing all right uh, go home buddy all right speed is back up I'm just, I don't know just trying to figure it out um, I really would love to figure it out I don't know what I'm missing. I know I'm missing something simple. Carol, what's up? We don't know. Take nail fungus, take the end of foot cream and get out of here. Uh, you definitely have lactose intolerant. Diet modification, take some pills with you. You're going home. 
William. All right, here's your NSAIDs, also known as a leave, and you're good to go, buddy. Carol, go home. Susan, golfer's elbow. Ice wrap. No, you need some pills. There's some pills. Take some pills. Oh, Susan, you're going to pay me a lot for that golfer's, el golfer's elbow. I love it. Let's go home. Joseph Lee, hay favor it is. Antihistamines, eye drops, cough suppressants. Don't sleep. Just, just walk it off. Susan, there you go. Give me the cash. Joseph Lee. I want to see how much Susan's going to pay me here. Oh, you have a couple things you can be. All right, let's do physical examination. We learned our lesson the last time. Oh, how much did she pay me? 40 bucks. Oh, come on. Uh, let's see. Can't be this. Can't be this. So you are laryngitis. You need antibiotics, some pain relievers, and there you go. Brooke, what's up? Brooke, come on. Do temperature. Let's just do it all. Do it all. Give Joseph Taylor some experience playing doctor. Rachel Adams, what's up? Oh. All right, Mary King. T you suck, Mary. <laughs> do a physical examination and tell me something good. Mary can't tell the difference between a shin and a foot. So it's either foot or leg contusion. Uh, let's go with leg contusion, numbing ointment. Mary, you really make me mad. Margaret, beef to oh tapeworms. Ugh. Gives me the every single time I get I just I just crawl. <laughs> Nobody wants parasites living inside them. Think of horror movies. All right, Margaret, go home because you're making me gross. You go home. Hopefully, I uh, got you the numbing ointment applied to the right area. Brooke, what's up? Common cold it is. You just need some rest. No, 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 no. You need a cough suppressant. Some of this good pain relief stuff. Some bronchiolators, some nasal drops. Please spend a fortune at the pharmacy on your way out. Mary Green. See, at least James here knows the difference between a foot and a shin. It's a leg contusion. Don't even need a physical examination. Just put some numbing ointment, give her a bandage, give her some pain relievers, recommend some things, and put a nice wrap on it. That's that's how you take care of it there. Uh, who's my doctor? Mary. Mary, that's how you take care of it. <laughs> uh, another one. See? Oh, Mary, there you go. Arm contusion. You're getting a little better. At least you know your arm parts. You don't know your leg parts, but at least you know your arm parts. Um, all right, arm contusion. Let's get some numbing ointment, bandage, and some pain relievers. Brooke. You're going home. Hopefully you're spending a lot at the pharmacy. Where is my pharmacist? I pay you a lot of money to stand there. 95 bucks. That's not a lot. I gave you a lot of stuff. Lake contusion, 460 bucks. Go Mary. Well, that my Mary doesn't make a whole lot of, doesn't get us a lot of money. 30 bucks, 30 bucks. Contusions just don't pay well. All right, 27, 28, we're missing a patient. Oh, what's going on here? Oh, we messed up somewhere. Oh, how long has he been sitting there? Now that happens when you pause and unpause. It's like one of the, the uh, bad things. Do you enjoy a special agent available? What? The? He leveled up pretty quick, like really, really quick. He's just, he's just getting experience just sitting there. I mean, just five, five, five. What are you doing on your computer? Oh, they're getting fives too. Huh? Interesting. I still need to figure out this internal mode. All right, guys, I'm gonna wrap it up there. I'm gonna try to figure out this controlled doctor thing because uh, it's really bothering me, but bothering me. Uh, because if you're enjoying, uh, you know, Project Hospital, you guys know to do. Throw up that like button, subscribe if you haven't done so already. Turn on the notification bell, and don't forget to leave me a comment. 
especially let me know which department you guys would like to see me unlock in the next video. And I'll catch you guys on the next one. Bye.